Alright, uh, this is the movie that I held off talking for some time, um, and for good reasons. I wanted to see it twice, uh, just to get a better feel for this film, especially since it got a lot of praises. Um, the critical reception was very good, even though I did see some that didn't uh, quite uh, praise it as much as a lot of, of the old-fashioned critics were done. Um, there was even some debate of whether or not this is a Western film. I guess it is more of a pioneer film, a little bit of mix. Um, it's safe to call it a Western, considering the, the frontier, but I don't consider it as one of the Westerns that I've grown used to seeing, especially some of the modern Westerns I've seen that came, um, that kept popping up in the last film few years. Nevertheless, the question is um, that I'm going to bring to uh, my own opinion about this movie. One, is it worthy of the praises that it's gotten? Two, should Leonardo DiCaprio uh, be nominated for Best Actor and win Best Actor? Because he did won the first time. He's actually won in so many tries. Um, and three, is it uh, the film worthy of all the praises in terms of cinematography, music, and just the landscape of it all? Well, let me just start off with the saying about the film. Um, kind of surprised me a little bit because I didn't know exactly what I was getting into when I um, saw this film. Um, again, um, this is one of the times where I saw the poster and I didn't really get the feel of what I was getting at. Um, this is a period piece, of course. It's taking place during the, um, during still the, the wilderness of, uh, of the Western lands. Um, and it involves uh, a character, um, which actually is based on a uh, on an actual guy who glass who got attacked viciously in this film by a bear uh, let me tell you something right now that was the most brutal scene that scene alone was brutal and hard to watch it was very very hard to watch I, I was amazed at how they actually captured unedited by the way um his him being attacked and molded and just basically being clawed by uh, this grizzly bear who obviously was trying to protect his young because young was around the area and it mercilessly just went after after him uh this was one of the scenes where i i was like i couldn't watch but i just couldn't keep myself from moving away it is a tough scene to watch and the injuries that he has suffered I was amazed he survived. I mean, I really was. Um, but that is just the beginning of the film. Um, the film really shows um, this character played by Leonardo DiCaprio, his struggle, his will to survive, and, and the struggle to try and get back um, to where he was originally supposed to lead um, this group of people who was like pretty much fur catchers who in a very instant got attacked by um, some indigenous people um, which basically was seeking revenge trying to get um, a woman back and they just uh, mercifully was attacking them um, pretty much dwindling them their, their numbers from um, pretty much 50 to almost 10 um, but that's just part of the story. The other part happens to be with Tom Hardy, a character which automatically you can see that he, he is very spiteful and after he after he had um, murdered a family member of his um, is where the film actually truly starts. You, um, you are following um, Leonardo DiCaprio's character as he tries to recover from a brutal injury um, being, and being left for dead for no, no, no less to him actually seeking revenge uh, for the for his murdered son, and at the time, you really kind of wonder how he's going to survive for all this, how he's going to go through, how he's going to survive this wilderness with the injuries they have, because uh, he's left battered, crippled, and bruised, and you're still trying to figure out in your mind, my, at least in my mind, how the hell he's going to go through this, how the hell he's going to go from point A to point B without a freezing to death. B, not dying from any kind of gangrene or any kind of major infections, because these are not cheap wounds. These are wounds that he got from his neck, from his back, uh, from from his fingers. I mean, he is just messed up. He is a battered and and broken man at this point. Um, and you are seeing um, this battered and broken man not only slowly recover, but actually go through this journey, which is a very fascinating and deep journey. Um, this is supposed to be inspired by a true story. I don't know how much fact it is from, you know, Hollywood's um, over exaggeration. What I can tell you is this: um, this is the probably the most visually stunning film I've seen in a while. Um, the visuals 
and the camera work was fantastic. I, I really sat down for the first time in a while. I saw a film where I said, you know, I don't remember too many editing in this movie, and yet it works just fine. Um, this film is long, uh, but it doesn't really take away any points because, again, um, the way the director has directed this film, and by the way, yeah, he deserved the best director in this film because he really, uh, it, it takes a, a great skilled director to do what he did with the dialogue that the main actor has. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to get to that in a minute because this has been the most controversial question that even Double Toasted in their review has brought up. But I'm going to give my own take about it, especially how I don't really view every film the same. In fact, you can't because every film has a certain style, uh, a certain blend, um, a certain genre. And you can't put blend all these genres in into one bucket and expect um, Shakespeare. There are certain films that are not meant um, to be um, an action film the way we are used to seeing action films like Salone films or Arnold Schwarzenegger. There are also some films that are meant to be uh, visualized um, and the strength of visualized is pretty much the backbone of the movie. I can tell you that the visualization of what you see on the screen as well as the camera work as well as the body language and the performance of the actors not saying much in this film carried this film throughout and they carried it brilliantly um, and that's the thing I, I really gotta give kudos to the director um, he deserved best um, in my opinion he deserved that award because he really did a, a great job in fact I'm gonna go on and say it have this film um, have won over spotlight I wouldn't have mind I mean because this film really did um, his work in terms of capturing the brutalness as well as the beauty of this landscape that I'm, I'm mentioning on the big screen. It is a beautifully done, well done um, film uh, with a good score as well as great performances throughout the film. Now let's get on to the, the fact of Leonardo DiCaprio. I am so happy he won for Best Actor. It has been a long time coming. Um, he deserved this for this film. I know a lot of people, including some of the guys from Double Toasted, have um, have said that all he did was grunt. All he did was, you know, basically breathe hard. If you're only looking at those two things, you're missing the point of what this actor is portraying. He is doing, he is actually showing you a person's will, willingness to survive. A person's, um, you know, struggle to survive the willingness as well as his own personal injuries. And he did it through body language. He did it through, um, basically, uh, from his facial expression. Um, just those things alone. Because here's the thing. Leonardo Calvary had barely any dialogue in this movie. Um, he had very little dialogue in this film um, and it really did rely on him with his posture and his facial expression alone. Um, what he did in this film without words was just as important to the movie than him speaking a few languages. If you're, if you're judging um, performances by just him speaking a dialogue from from a script you're missing the point of why these actors do what they do uh, it's it, just act just saying some words alone isn't enough there has to be more to it um, than just that and a perfect example of this is the artist uh, a film that's not too um too old um, from from the from the Academy um, it won for best picture and deservedly so that film had only f a few dialogues and it was at the very end. The film relied on the visual, the body language of the actors, and what was going on, what the message it was trying to send um, towards us, um, the viewers. Um, the same thing can go over here. Yeah, there is dialogue. Tom Hardy and um, the other actors have it. But for this, it was necessary for Leonardo DiCaprio not to have um, this, uh, uh, the dialogue in this film. And to me, it worked just fine. Again, this film is pretty much a director's film where the directing and the acting and the performances have to pretty much blend in with this movie and it did i i really really was impressed by this film um it is a brutal film though i'm not gonna lie to you this is not an easy film to go through i'm um, sitting down because you're gonna see a lot of brutal stuff in this film uh, and i go on to say this this movie made the a for hate came from comparison um if you if you think that and i know people always want to talk about all the 808 and the, and the curse words I, I always felt that sometimes when we say when we always say how, how brutal one film is 
until we see the other film and say, wow, this is just as brutal. Um, but the thing that worked well for this film is, again, the stunning directing work, the stunning camera work, the stunning editing, um, the, 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 uh, the visualization, the score, everything blended in perfectly with this movie. And again, I have to say, the, the performances with Tom Hardy uh, was great. I actually um, even liked it how the, uh, some of the other Cold Stars have given their um, their roles um, very, very well. Um, I really, really was engaged with this movie. Um, again, if you, if you want to take any knock, and it's really not a knock, is the film did come get along. But other than that, um, I enjoyed it. I think this is one uh, that, that Leonardo DiCaprio... Uh, I tip his cap to. I, I know a lot of people saying, oh, he shouldn't deserve it. Um, there are a lot of films that's better. Yeah, I, I think that Departed was a better film. There's no question about it. I think that there are other performances he have done in the past that should have gotten um, an Academy Award for. One of them happens to be Blood Diamond. But I felt in terms of this one, am I going to say he doesn't deserve it for uh, The Revenant? No, I'm going to say he definitely deserved it. Um, he deserved it a lot more than that. And if he didn't get this, I'm going to go on further. If he didn't get it, it's going to scratch my head and say, what else did this man has to do to get an award? Um, he, he's done almost basically every role that can possibly get in front of him. Um, if he wouldn't give it to him, I'd say, Som somebody really must have it in for Leonardo because there's, there's no way they can't give it to him. Um, this is this is a, a fantastically well shot film. This is one of the top um, 10 films of that year of 2015 and, and it deserves all the credibility if it can. Um, it's four stars in my opinion uh, again it's one of those films that I don't think everybody's going to get involved with like I said it's very the scenes especially uh, the scene where he's getting attacked by the bear is so oh man it's, that was hard to, that was hard to sit through I'm like I'm watching a man literally be destroyed right in front of me and I'm like ah, I, I don't know if I can I don't know if I was I, I can actually go through what he went through and survive that but that that you know, it, this is, <laughs> if they was going for realism, they, they won. <laughs> I, can't, I got nothing to say. It went, they won. Um, this is, that was this that deep. Uh, I, I was very, very, uh, it, it's, it's one of those scenes where I'd say, I, I don't think I can watch it a third time in a row. Oh, man. But other than that, um, again, I, this is probably for quiet taste. It is a drama. Um, I wouldn't say slow paced drama, but it is. It's a pacing kind of drama where if you're not used to the type of style of of, of what they are going for, you probably won't um, you stay interested in it. Um, it's not a fast paced film, but it's not a slow paced film. It's pretty much in the middle. Um, and again, it's one of those period pieces where, I again, a lot of people don't like period pieces. I think you should give this one a chance, at least for, any, for anything. But I understand some people just like to go in there, have fun, be engaged, and just, you know, basically not have to worry about being depressed when they leave the, um, the film. This film really is, uh, a, 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 this film really is one of those movies where you just said, man, <laughs> what a journey. I mean, I feel like I was there. <laughs> um, of course, you may disagree. As always, I'd like to hear your opinion on it. Leave it in the comment section below. Uh, especially if you liked the film or didn't like the film. Leave a comment. I'd like to know where you're feeling on the film. Until then, this is J77 saying take care, be safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.